Bertha, yes. can you introduce yourself? Cool. My name is Bertha Tate and I've been working as the Switch City Facilitator with the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology since 2007. Uh -huh. And uh, you're here in this World Water Day event in Cape Town. Yesterday there was a session organized by Switch and Ikle. Yes. Uh, you have learned something over there or you have an opinion of what was discussed over there. Can you tell a bit more about that? Well, um, yesterday we talked about the opportunity for developing countries to leapfrog and uh, perhaps not make the mistakes that uh, developed countries have made. And I do think that uh, there is a very big opportunity for us to make that advance in terms of water and sanitation. We have the hindsight of knowing what other people have done and which have not worked. And we can now, based on uh, research and information that is available, um, have an insight into what we can do to have a better future uh, for water and sanitation. But what I was very interested in yesterday's events was um, the fact that we looked at the stakeholder participation and how important it is in arriving at this kind of uh, decisions that will support a sustainable urban water future for African countries. And so I think um, with my experience from Accra, where we brought together different stakeholders to share information regarding how water in Accra can be managed. For example, um, when we have traditional a vision of sewering the whole city. Stakeholders were able to come together and say that we cannot sewer the whole city. Based on switch research, we've seen that only 5% um, of the city is sewered and only about 50% have direct connection to water. So perhaps sewering the whole city may not be a good option. So these are the kind of discussions or the kind of lessons that we learned from stakeholder processes. And combined with research, we're able to come up with good um, strategic directions and options that our city can have it was a sustainable urban water management. Mm -hmm. So what what makes the leapfrog for you, you think? Well, for us, I think um, the leapfrog would be the stakeholder engagement. I ah. mean, it's not a, a physical technology, but I think um, it allows us to advance and make uh, policies that would support um, our work. Um, for example, a stakeholder in Accra said by coming to the meeting, he gained good information which helped him to um, develop a good policy or develop a paper for policy towards sanitation and water. So once we are able to influence the people that make decisions, then the leapfrogging comes when people use that information and apply it to their work in order to improve their work. Thank you very much, Berta, okay. Thank you for this information. Thank you for have having a, me. Have a nice um, event. Okay, you too. Okay.